Hi, I'm Jerry from Champion Sporty Goods. I'm sitting on Marty Carner's bench. Uh, he was a, an employee of mine for 13 years, and more importantly, he was a Belmont Soccer Association coach for 17 years. Unfortunately, he passed away of COVID on January 20th, 2021, and the Soccer Association has dedicated this bench in his honor for all the volunteer work he's done. Please come and join us on Saturday, May 7th at 12 noon at Town Field to dedicate this bench in Marty's honor. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gwen Connor. I was Marty Connor's wife for just under 41 years. A lot of you may know that we raised our three boys in Belmont. We moved here in 1985 and Joel was born that same year, then his brothers Mark and Paul. Marty was actually a runner throughout his entire high school career. He ran cross country, winter track, indoors, and then outdoor track in the spring. He started coaching soccer with me when Joel wanted to play. Uh, the Floyd Carmen, who was Joel's first coach, said, you guys better just get involved with this because he's going to love this game. And we did, but I was the head coach the first year because I had played field hockey in high school and college. Marty slowly got more and more into it. He absolutely loved all the boys that he coached and he was always much more focused on teamwork and being personally responsible for oneself on the field. And I think that a lot of the boys remember that. I've gotten so many notes from people saying that it was a life lesson playing soccer for Marty and that it is serving them well as young adults out in their first jobs. Marty extended soccer past the youth soccer program when he became the unofficial photographer and videographer for the high school boys team, which he did for a little over 10 years. Uh, he absolutely loved the game, loved everything about it, took every coaching course that he could and spent so much time doing his practices. Again, we're really, really honored that this bench is going to be dedicated in his memory. It's going to be on May 7th, which happens to have been his birthday. So it's going to be a really special occasion here at noon on May 7th. My family, we met Marty um, and his family when my son Dave was in third grade. Marty was Dave's soccer coach from the time he was in third grade to really 12th grade. Um, and we had so many wonderful experiences with Marty and his entire family. Uh, Dave was very good friends with Marty's youngest son, Paul. Um, and we shared so many wonderful experiences both on the soccer field and off the soccer field. I think the best thing about Marty as a coach was that there were no superstars on our team. He treated everybody fairly. He had an awesome sense of humor. I mean, anybody, when I, to this day, when I think of Marty, the first thing that I think of is his robust laugh. He had the most amazing laugh and he always had a twinkle in his eye and he had a great sense of humor and he just made everything fun. And in this day and age, um, you know, our boys were on a very, they played at a very competitive level. They were a very good team, but Marty always kept it fun and always kept things in perspective. Taught them very well, taught them about teamwork. Like I said, nobody was a superstar. Um, he just taught, not only did he teach them great soccer lessons, but he just was such a great role model, he and his family, um, about life lessons and uh, what's important in life and what are the priorities in life. I think it's awesome that we have a bench here to uh, remember Marty. I know that I will be coming down here, as will my family, a lot to think about him. Uh, the number of hours that he gave to this town um, through, gosh, I don't even know how many years he coached soccer, but um, hundreds if not thousands of hours he spent on these soccer fields um, and the amount of um, time uh, that he and his family gave to this town and the people in this town um, will be so well remembered. I am Marty's middle son and uh, here at Town Field, I think we called it Kendall Field actually when I was a kid, uh, I believe we, it was still second soccer back then and my dad, that's when my dad started coaching me. Uh, he coached me all the way up from kindergarten all the way through I think eighth grade before I went to high school. And yeah, it, I, I at the time didn't realize how special it was to have my dad coaching me. Um, and now looking back on it, it's I, I look back on it really fondly. He was always so caring towards all of our teammates and really helped us to get better at soccer. Um, it was it was really a gift. 
Dad was uh, just like he was with all of the kids on the soccer field. He was amazing with my kids. So I have three boys. Uh, I have twin boys who are five now, uh, Brooks and Graham. And then I have Jude Martin, uh, namesake after my dad, uh, who is now nine months old. My dad, uh, not only was he an amazing coach, but he also was a stay-at-home dad, which was really cool, especially back then. That was not at all the norm, and um, he was amazing with our kids. Um, you know, the second that he walked into a room, the kids would light up, and he made great connections with all of his grandkids, and uh, we missed that a lot. Um, there's a lot that we miss, but uh, knowing that my dad didn't get to meet Jude uh, has been tough, but, you know, we're... My brothers and I talk all the time that we will do our best to try to make sure that his legacy lives on through us and, uh, and through our kids as well. Wow, this bench, um, it means an awful lot. Uh, my dad loved uh, Belmont soccer a ton. Uh, you know, he coached my, my youngest brother from kindergarten up until eighth grade as well. Uh, and the the fact that the town uh, or the, the, the association decided to do this for our family means the world to us. Um, we're really, really appreciative of it. And it's uh, while we don't live here anymore, I know that it will be nice that whenever we are, we are in town, we'll have to stop by here because not only is it very comfortable, but it's just a really nice uh, tribute to my dad.